Hi ladies and gentlemen, today we're out on the Denji Peninsula, Burnham on Crouch. I'm joined... So windy! <laughs> yeah, it's a very windy day. I'm joined by Super Pop Bro. Um, he's also set up a new channel recently, My Urbex Life. Go and check him out. Now, we are going to be heading over to what I reckon could be the biggest pillbox in England. And we're going to find out if this is Britain's biggest pillbox. It's actually a really clean place. There's not much rubbish in here at all. Look at it. It almost looks brand new. The concrete in here. Look how clean that is. Usually these places are filled with rubbish. They're used as kind of waste dumping grounds. But this one is pristine. So here's the benches, there's two of them for Vickers medium machine guns and these were big heavy water cooled machine guns that you had to set up on a tripod to be able to fire. The most common type of gun used in the pillbox was the Bren light machine gun and you would have had that mounted in these loopholes here, there's three of them, or you might have had rifles in there. So these were infantry weapons and this is what most pillboxes have. They've even got these little cavities in there, I don't know why that's there, perhaps that's where the um, spent cartridges would have fallen into. But this pillbox, it's got the Vickers machine gun emplacements. It's actually a lot heavier than most pillboxes. This is a real strong point. It's almost like a mini fortress that would have been used to hold the line if Britain was invaded in 1940. got another firing slit here, loophole as it's called. Again, probably just for a rifle, that one. It's not very big. This is the way we came in. We've got some more Vickers machine gun benches. So this pillbox looks like it would have had four Vickers machine guns, which is an awful lot, considering these were really, really big guns. It would have had six Bren light machine guns. It would have had a rifle in the middle and it would have had two light anti-aircraft guns which I'm going to show you now. Light anti-aircraft guns were basically guns like the Bren set up on a tripod facing up to the sky to shoot down enemy aircraft. They were literally just for the defence of the immediate vicinity for planes that were flying very very low and near they were designed to shoot them. But down here, you would have had the light anti-aircraft weapon. It would have been a light machine gun, like the Brent gun or the Lewis gun. Sometimes they were mounted on a seat, twin linked, um, for extra firepower. Or it also might have been a small auto cannon, like the Ehrlichen gun. What have we found here? Just found a three pence dated 1944. Yeah, look, 1944, contemporary to wartime. Look here, we found another coin, this time from 1941. A half pence, a halfpenny, it's from 1941. 
which is when Britain was just about coming out the other side of the invasion threat that was probably the reason why this pillbox was built. We've made it on the roof now, if you can hear me, it's quite windy. Will's taking some shots, but down inside here, this is the light anti-aircraft gun emplacement pit. The entrance is just to the left and the way into the pillbox is behind this little blast wall here. But yeah, we actually found under the water, we nearly fell in. There's actually a circular hole where the gun could have been mounted. I reckon that is for a pedestal mount, so like an Ehrlichen gun. Basically guns that were designed to be mounted on the decks of ships. But in the dire circumstances of World War II, Britain had to use those to defend the land. So then guys, this is the Vickers machine gun bench that's been built in here. It's literally just like a concrete table. Um, you can see some of the little mountains have been, I don't know, they've had the mountain move, but there would have been a tripod, I'm guessing a leg would have fitted in each of these corners. And this big machine gun, about that thick, um, he'd have had it like this, shooting out there. And you could sort of shoot it, I guess, quite, you've got quite a good angle on that because that loophole is quite wide. So you could cover that whole angle looking down into the river crouch in the distance there. So, you know, and then I'm guessing you'd have had another guy in here next to me who would have been loading the ammo and making sure the gun had enough ammunition in it. You can just imagine if this place was getting attacked, the kinds of chaos that would have been happening. You've got the front of the pillbox here, the most heavily defended with the big machine guns. And then if you started getting attacked from behind, because the Germans, they may have landed paratroopers into the fields. You've got the other uh, firing slots to get some guys to shoot out of that way. So you've literally got 360 degree defensive position here. There was possibly England's biggest pillbox. I don't know, if you've seen a bigger one, please do let us know. I'd love to see some photos and footage of that. But I hope you've enjoyed watching this short little look around. Just a really cool place, and it was actually really good condition. It was good finding them coins yeah. there. Quite an unusual little place. So, see you later guys. Do have a look at my urbex life and Central Bond Road. And yeah, you can watch your, for viewers can watch your version of the video. And without further ado, we're going to see you later.